All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another week of Fuel Up with Team Battle Chef. My name is Chef Anastasia. I'm super excited because we're doing one of my favorite things today, baking. What are we baking? We are making banana chocolate chip muffins. So if you've ever had overripe bananas that are looking like they're going to waste, listen up because we are making some yummy muffins out of them. And I'm also excited because joining me for the first time is my newest Team Battle Chef Ambassador, Camila. Hi, Camila, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Camila, I'm 15. I live in New York and I go to School of the Future High. And I'm really excited to be joining all of you guys today. I'm excited as well, thank you. This is gonna be fun. So before we get started, Camila, why don't we remind everyone how to keep it clean and safe in the kitchen? So let everyone know what you remember about keeping it clean in the kitchen. Yeah, so basically in the summer, what I learned was making sure that you're always clean and that you're cleaning while you cook because of cross-contamination. Right here, tying back up your hair and wearing a hat, you don't want to get your hair dirty. Or if your hair is dirty, you don't want to get your hair in the food. Um, kitchen hygiene, always cleaning, making sure everything's clean. You don't want to leave any dirty surfaces and making sure you are having fun and being safe. Of course. I think we covered it. We're not working with a knife today, so I won't cover. No, oh, we have someone joining right now. We have Melody joining. So I won't cover knife safety today because we're not cutting anything. And I do often go over knife safety. So we don't have to do that today. Hi, Melody. Melody there? Melody, are you cooking along with us? Yeah. Awesome. Where are you joining from? Um, um. <laughs> I did. I, yeah, yeah, I was just on the phone with work. I couldn't get off. Hey, David. So you're not on mute. To tell them all. Melody, so where, what school are you going from? Scene, but I'm still pretty much out. But I, I can already tell. Pleasantville. Oh, so Pleasantville. Welcome back, Pleasantville. Um. So are you cooking with anyone? Are you in school or are you at home? I'm in school. Great. So are more people cooking with you? Yeah. Awesome. So if you want, turn on your camera. And so I can see you guys cooking as well. All right. So we covered how to keep it clean, how to keep it safe. And we're going to have fun, right? So just a reminder, wash your hands. Pull your hair back in a ponytail if you have long hair or wear a hat. Roll up those sleeves if they're long sleeves and maybe take off your jewelry if you have any dangly jewelry so it doesn't get in our food, right? And we can get started. So every week we also have, oh, hi guys, I see you now. So every week we also have a guest chef joining us. So let's see who that guest chef is today. Of course, that guest chef is one of you guys. So I think we can see between Lainey and Melody who our guest chef will be today, and you guys will be in the spotlight. So Mosh Noon, if you wanna pull up our picker wheel, we can add some names in there and pick our guest chef. There we go, we have Lainey and Melody. And I think we should spin it. So let's see who our guest chef is. And they wanna be able to Dun, dun, dun. We are spinning, we are spinning. Let's see. It's Lainey. So I'm sure Lainey will have her, her time in the spotlight and then maybe later on we can spotlight Melody and make a dig turn since it's not too many people. Um, so for now we'll spotlight Lainey and then later on Melody. How does that sound, Joelle? So we'll take turns, great. Awesome. So as I said, oh, I got a thumbs up from Lainey as well. So as I said, we are making banana chocolate chip muffins, right? So what do we need for our banana chocolate chip muffins? Also, Melody, you guys cooking over there, you want to preheat your oven first to 350 degrees. So if you have an oven there, preheat, preheat the oven to 350 so we can get that going while we make our muffins. So to make our muffins, what are we going to need? Let's take them down to the chef zone to show our mise en place. So of course we're gonna need bananas. 
So to make, ooh, we have more people joining, so let's admit them. So to make these muffins, you're gonna need two pretty overripe bananas. So you know those bananas that look like, you know, they might be garbage. They have a lot of spots on them. It doesn't have to be this overripe if you don't have, if you just put ripe bananas, that's fine. But two, so we're making banana chocolate chip muffins. Did somebody ask what we're making? So you're gonna need, this is gonna make a bunch of muffins, you guys. So you guys can work in teams, if it's a lot of you, to all make one batch or two batches if you want a lot of muffins, because it's gonna make a bunch of mini muffins. So if you guys wanna take turns and work together, we're gonna need two very ripe bananas. We're gonna need one large egg. We also need a third cup of brown sugar or regular sugar is fine as well if you don't have brown sugar, but we need a third cup. And we'll go over this again as we cook. You're going to need olive oil or any oil really, I'm using olive oil. And you're going to have a quarter cup of that. We're going to need some yogurt, some plain yogurt. I have Greek yogurt. We're only using about two tablespoons. To flavor it up, we're gonna use a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now for our dry ingredients, we have one cup of flour. And don't worry guys, we will go over this again as I add it to the bowl. So one cup of flour. And everything sweet likes a little salt. So we have a little bit of salt, only a quarter teaspoon. Baking soda. So that's a half a teaspoon of baking soda. We're going to need some ground nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon. If you don't have nutmeg, you can use another spice, like maybe cinnamon or ginger, something to add a little more flavor, right? And then we're also going to need a third cup of sliced almonds or nuts. If you like another nut, you can use something else. And my favorite part, chocolate chips. We are using two thirds cup of chocolate chips. And that's all we need to make our banana chocolate chip muffins. So, Camila, is there anything different going in your muffins? Yeah, I decided to add some cranberries since it's almost Christmas and I wanted to get into the festive season. That sounds great. Good idea. So yeah, guys, if you have another dried fruit, cranberries, raisins, another nut, feel free to add it into the mix. Really, there's no there's no wrong answer there. Um, but now that we know a little bit about what we're using in our muffins, let's see how much we know about these ingredients, why they're good for us, why we're using them, right? So why don't we play a little game? I know you guys like to play Kahoot. So let's launch a game called Kahoot. So if you guys have a laptop or a cell phone that you can join in on, let's play Kahoot. Are you guys ready to play Kahoot? Chef number one, Melody, somebody named Hi. Everybody from Pleasantville. Ooh, Lainey's playing Kahoot. So Joelle, when you're all ready to launch Kahoot. I love Kahoot, it's fun. You guys are going to love it. Joelle did a great job with Kahoot this week. Let's give her one second. All right. So if you guys are playing Kahoot, go to www.kahoot.it and then type in 2936189 as your pin. Interns, you can play along. Camila can play along if she wants. Everybody can play. So go to kahoot.it or on the Kahoot app and type in this game pin, 293-6189. And we will wait for you guys to join. All right, let's see. Lainey's there. We need some more players. Gotcha, David. 
So is anyone else playing Kahoot? Mashnoon can play Kahoot. Camila's playing Kahoot. Melody and friends, are you guys play playing Kahoot? There we are, yes we are. Melody's group is playing Kahoot. I'll give you guys another 30 seconds to join. Whoever else wants to play. Is anybody here not from Pleasantville? You could type it in the chat or you can just say yes or no. No, I'm not. I know you're not. <laughs> All right, we have a good group here. This is gonna get competitive. So let's see what everyone knows about bananas and yogurt. Is anyone still joining? Because we'll start if everyone's there. Once we start, you can still join guys. So why don't we get started and let's play. All right. So banana chocolate chip muffins in three, two, one. So we have 10 questions. First one, why is overripe banana better to use in place of more sugar? There's no food waste. Bananas have more health benefits than processed sugar cane. Banana turns to sugar naturally in our bodies, or it takes less banana than sugar to sweeten the recipe. There might be more than one correct answer here. Oh, yes, so there's three correct answers. So by using overripe bananas, we're not throwing, throwing them out, and so there's no food waste. Bananas have more health benefits than processed sugar, more vitamins, more minerals, more fiber, so we get more good things for us. And banana turns to sugar naturally in the, in the body anyway, so you're still getting sugar, you're still getting sweetness, but a natural sweetness, a natural sugar. So good job, guys. All right, so who's in the lead? We have Ava, MSP Ava. All right, next question. How many types of bananas are there? Oh, this is tricky. Is, are there more than 10,000 types, more than 100, 10, only 10 types you think, or 1,000 types? So what do you think? This is a tricky, tricky one. Who knows? Dun, dun, dun. So there are a little more than a thousand types of bananas. Wow. I thought there were only a few. So now we know there are so many different types of bananas out there. All right. Good job, guys. What is yogurt high in? Is it high in protein, high in probiotics, high in carbohydrates, or high in vitamin C? I think there might be more than one correct answer here too. Yeah, so yogurt is high in protein and high in probiotics, which are healthy bacteria in our bodies that help us fight disease and do things like that. So protein and probiotics. So probiotics, like I said, the good bacteria, uh, their job is to keep the good and bad bacteria balanced in your body because we have both good bacteria, probiotics, and we have harmful bacteria in our body. So do probiotics balance these things? Of course they do. Yeah, it's their job to balance the good and the bad. But they keep us healthy. Oh, All right, true or false. Banana is low in potassium. Oh, I should have removed vitamin K. So just K, not vitamin K. So banana is low in potassium. Is that true or false? That's false. So banana is actually high in potassium, which we need for muscle contractions, for keeping our blood sugar normal and healthy. So we have a lot of potassium in these muffins. What kind of fat is olive oil? Saturated or unsaturated? So saturated fat is the unhealthy fats, right? Unsaturated fat are the healthy fats. What do we think olive oil is? Saturated or unsaturated? Okay, let's see. Yep, it is unsaturated. So that means it's a healthy fat that actually helps us stay healthy, our heart's healthy, our 
blood healthy. So when you see unsaturated fats, other unsaturated fats are in nuts, avocados, um, seeds, olives, olive oil. Those are all sources of unsaturated healthy fats. Saturated fats come from things like meat, like beef and pork, some butter, milk. Those are sources of saturated fats, which we can still have in our diets, um, but in less amounts than the unsaturated fats. So which ingredients in our muffins are high in vitamin E? Is it almonds, yogurt, nutmeg, olive oil? So vitamin E is a type of vitamin that acts like an antioxidant. What do we think has vitamin E? in this recipe. So almonds and olive oil have vitamin E. So vitamin E is in a lot of nuts and seeds, like I said, and other fat sources like olives and olive oil. And vitamin E is great for its antioxidant benefits. So that helps us fight the bad guys in our body and keeps us really healthy. All right, Camila is in the lead now. Wow, good job, Camila. So which ingredient is good for both your skin and your hair? Is it nutmeg or vanilla? I just learned this one too, guys. So do we think nutmeg is good for your skin and your hair or vanilla? This is tricky too, but this is how we learn. That's right, vanilla extract is actually good for your skin and your hair. So good to know, it doesn't only add flavor, it adds some beneficial help, qualities, right? So we still have Camila in the lead. And nine out of 10, which ingredient helps fight bad bacteria in the mouth? So if you tuned in early, I gave it away by accident. But so one of these fights, there we go, nutmeg actually. So did you know guys, nutmeg, a spice, helps fight bad bacteria in your mouth. So it fights gum disease, right? and keeps our mouth healthy or teeth healthy. So good to know. All right, Camille is still number one and Ava's number two. So why do we add baking soda to muffins? So we're adding baking soda, but why? To add flavor, to add fiber, to help the muffins rise and expand or to help the muffins brown faster. That is correct, guys, you're all so smart. So, Baking soda, the reason why we add that to baked goods, in this case muffins, is because it helps our muffins rise and get bigger. Because if we didn't add it, it would just be flat batter. And nobody wants that. All right, good job, guys. Let's see who our winner is. Number three is Mashnoon. Good job, Mashnoon. Number two is Ava. Wow, smarty pants. And number one is... Camila, good job, Camila. Good job, all you guys. I think we all learned something from Kahoot, so I had fun playing with you guys. So now that we covered that, who's ready to make some muffins? Camila, are you ready? Lainey, are you ready? Everyone else baking, are you guys ready? I think we're all ready. So let's go back down to our chef zone right here. Hey, you guys can see, I have two muffins. I mean, two muffins, uh, two bananas. And you ever seen your bananas get old and brown like this? And you think, should I throw them out? Are they still good to eat? They're a little mushy. Or even if they're not this ripe, but they're ripe enough to use in this recipe, this is a new way to use them instead of throwing them out. So what we're going to do is, of course, peel our bananas. just like that and pop them right into our bowl. And this is why it's handy to also have a garbage bowl next to you. So I don't have to run to the garbage can. So whenever you bake or cook, if you want to save yourself a trip to the garbage can, just have a garbage bowl nearby. And now there are different ways you can mash your bananas. I'm using a handy dandy fork. Camila, what are you using? 
Uh, I'm going to try using a potato masher. So yeah, both work. So whatever you guys want. So you're just going to mash your banana until it becomes broken down completely into a paste. And of course, a riper banana is a little softer. So that's another reason to use a ripe or an overripe banana because green bananas, first of all, they're not sweet enough. So as things ripen, their sugars develop. So it gets sweeter. So if we use a ripe or an overripe banana, we don't need to add as much sugar to our muffins. So that's another reason to use a ripe banana. So they're easier to mash just like this. Oh wow, Camila, that looks really easy. So is that easy? Yeah, I think it's definitely easier. Looks like it. All right, perfect. Okay, so what do we add next? We have our mashed banana. Now we're going to add our egg. So you guys, if you're cracking your egg, you can crack it right into the bowl. But if you don't want any shells, if you fear that you're going to get some eggshell in there, I recommend getting a separate little bowl and cracking it in there first. So that's what I'm going to do. Just because I don't want crunchy shells in my muffins. Oh, wow. Just like that. Okay, and we're gonna add that into our bowl. So one egg, right in. And then we're going to add a third cup of brown sugar. You can use light brown sugar, regular brown sugar, or if you don't have brown sugar, you can use regular sugar. But it's a third cup and that goes right in. Okay. And you also want to add some oil. I'm using olive oil, which has all of those health benefits we spoke about. It's an unsaturated fat. And you want to use a quarter cup. What kind of oil are you using, Camila? Uh, I'm going to try using the grapeseed oil instead of olive. There you go. So there's another oil you can use that's healthy as well. So you want to add a quarter cup or four tablespoons. So four tablespoons actually equals a quarter cup. And you want to mix that a little bit. So if you want, you can grab a whisk or you can still use your fork and whisk that up. Has anyone here ever baked banana bread? Camila, have you ever made banana bread? No, out of like fun. banana? Awesome. So this is another way to use up those bananas. So you can also make banana muffins, banana pancakes, but we're making our lovely banana muffins. So you wanna combine that so it's all smooth. I have a chunk of sugar here, I see. So I'm gonna break that down. You wanna make sure everything is evenly combined. How's everyone else doing so far? So I see Lainey with her thumbs up. So why don't we add a spotlight to, let's see who else is cooking. Whoever's named Hi, are you cooking? I see chef number one, but they're facing the ceiling. So for now, whoever's cooking, if you wanna show your camera and we could spotlight you as well so you can show everyone how to make these muffins with us. So I have this big chunk of sugar still. I'm gonna just plop it out, it's not too big. All right, so I have my banana, my sugar, my egg, and my oil here. And to that, I wanna add two tablespoons of yogurt. You want plain yogurt, preferably, because plain yogurt doesn't have any flavor or doesn't have any added sugar. So it's just gonna add some you know, protein to the mix, some calcium, and some creaminess. So some more moisture. So two tablespoons. As well as one teaspoon 
of our lovely vanilla extract that's great for our skin and our hair, right? So one teaspoon of that. Just like that. And you wanna mix that up as well. Okay. Wow, that looks really good, Camila. So Camila, why don't you show everyone how to, what dry ingredients we need. So we have our flour, right? Oh, we're gonna need some flour. Mm -hmm. To the recipe real quick. No problem. And some baking soda. Like we said, that makes our muffins rise. So I put my banana mixture to the side and now I'm working on my flour mixture. Yeah, so it's gonna be the flour, the nutmeg and the baking soda and the sea salt. So like Camila said, we have our one cup of flour. That's one cup of flour. To that, I'm going to add Listen up, a quarter teaspoon of our nutmeg. It's gonna add lovely flavor, but if you don't have nutmeg, what else do you think they can use instead of nutmeg, Camila? Uh, possibly cinnamon. Mm, I love cinnamon. So you can use cinnamon, you can use ginger, even some cardamom or cloves. Not too much, just to add a little flavor. And now I'm gonna go in with a half a teaspoon of my baking soda, half a teaspoon, you guys. With that. Then, like I said, sweet things love a little salt because it balances out the sweetness. So we're having a quarter teaspoon of sea salt in here. I promise it's not gonna taste salty, you guys. So just a quarter teaspoon of salt. All right, so that's our dry ingredients. And you can whisk those up or use your fork again if you don't have a whisk and just make sure those are evenly combined before you add them to the banana. Just like that. Or you could sift them together if you have a sifter. Okay. So how's that looking over there, Camila? looks good. Did you add your dry to your bananas yet? Uh, no, I'm still mixing my dry. Cool. How's that looking, Lainey? How's everyone else doing? Who else is cooking along? Is everyone mashing up their banana, mixing their flour mixture? Does anyone need me to repeat anything? This is such a simple recipe that it goes by super, super quick. All right, so I, so we had a question and Lynn answered it. Thank you, Lynn. So it was, oh, Lynn put all the ingredients in the chat box. So if you're missing an ingredient or didn't hear me, all the ingredients are in the chat box. So it was a cup of flour, Melody. Okie dokes. Now, I'm going to start adding my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients, but not all at once. I'm gonna add maybe three additions. So look, I'm gonna add a little bit just to make sure it's not clumpy and everything's mixed together well. And then I'm going to mix that in a little bit. I'm gonna actually use a little rubber spatula, better for mixing or a spoon. Then I'm gonna add Another third of it, just like that. Okay. And my last third. 
just like that. And these are a really good snack or, you know, a quick little bite to eat in the morning. If you're ever really, really in a rush to eat breakfast in the morning. Camila, are you a breakfast eater or a breakfast skipper? Uh, breakfast eater. Oh, good. What's your favorite breakfast? Um, probably oatmeal sometimes or eggs and tater tots. Ooh, so you like sweet, you like savory. So this is a good sweet one. All right, keep these on hand whenever, you know, I want a quick sweet snack, but I don't want to have a candy bar or something, you know, too sugary and unhealthy. This is a great way if you have a sweet tooth to fix that problem. <laughs> So you just want to make sure everything is combined. If you have any spots of flour left, you want to mix that in. Just like this, you guys. How does that look? It smells really good too. I love banana. All right, so that's that. Then we're going to go in with our almonds. I have a third cup of sliced almonds. And like I said, you can use any nuts you'd like. If you have pecans, if you have walnuts are even great with banana. Walnuts. Using walnuts. Ooh, awesome. Lainey's using walnuts. And Camila, are you using almonds or another nut? Uh, I'm using almonds too. Awesome. So we're gonna add that in. This? Yeah, mix it in. And then we're also gonna go in with our chocolate chips. So you can use about a half a cup of chocolate chips. I, you can use a little more if you'd like, a little less if you don't want too much chocolate. I am gonna use about a half a cup. I know we said two thirds cup. So if you're really a chocolate lover, go for it. And I'm using dark chocolate chips. So, What's healthier, dark chocolate chips or milk chocolate chips? Does anyone know? I'm using milk. Well, that's delicious and yummy. And milk still has a little bit of health benefits, the milk chocolate chips. But chocolate in general has a lot of antioxidants, even a little fiber. Dark chocolate has a little more, but milk chocolate is totally fine. So our batter looks something like this. That's our lovely muffin batter. Does anyone have any questions so far? I think of muffins like a, kind of like a cupcake without frosting, but these are healthier and still as delicious. Okay, so we have our mix ready. And I'm using mini muffin tins. Is anyone using regular size muffin tins? Or mini? So Lainey's using mini and she has her, wow, you already are ready with your liners. So if you're using a silicone muffin tin, this is called a silicone. You see it's bendy, right? You can give it a quick spray. You don't really need to because they pop right out. I'll show you. But if you're using a metal muffin tin like Lainey is, then you can line them with little mini muffin tin liners, those little cupcake liners, or you can spray them down really, really well. Yeah, Lainey, hold that up again. Can you show everyone? Yeah, so see Lainey's cupcake liners, little mini ones? That's gonna make sure her muffins pop out and don't stick. So good job. So Lainey, is your batter ready? I and I know, so Camila, I know we used almonds and Lainey used walnuts, but what if someone has a nut allergy? What can they use? Do you know? Um, well, if you don't usually use nuts, maybe you can use flaxseed or maybe anything that you usually substitute it with. Perfect. Good point. So if you have a nut allergy or, you know, some kind of preference for no nuts, you can use seeds, black seeds, chia seeds, sunflower seeds, 
pumpkin seeds are really easy to find around this time of year because pumpkins in season. Fill it up. See, I'm filling my cupcake liners, my muffin liners, my muffin tin really. And I don't want to fill it all the way to the top, top, top. You want to fill it about a quarter, a three quarters of the way. So leave a little bit of space on top just Did so you? they have room to expand and rise. Wow, Camila, I love your little muffin liners. Is that like a Santa Claus one? Yeah, they have little so bones. Cute. Very seasonal and festive. It's a good gift for the holidays too. So if you want to bake these up and give them as a gift. That, how much I should put in? No more. So let's see. A little, that's saying a little more. That, much more. Not an exact. You want to leave a little bit of space on top. So you don't want it overflowing because like I said, what does the baking soda do? It makes the muffins, what, expand, right? And rise. So you need a little room for that to happen. Because if you fill them all the way to the tip, tip, top, they're just going to expand and maybe spill over and they're not going to come out quite as neat. They're still going to be delicious, but not quite as neat. How's everyone else doing over there? How's Melody's crew and chef number one? All right, this smells delicious and it's not even baked. It reminds me of like a banana pancake, but in muffin form. Okay, I'm almost there. Like I said, I know the holidays are here, Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all the good holidays. So if you ever want to give a gift and you want to give a good gift, I think this might be it. Wrap these up in a little Tupperware and they're good to go. And I just have mine on a baking sheet. So it's easier to pop into the oven because these silicone molds are kind of flexible and not as sturdy as the metal ones. So that's the reason why I have it on this, on this uh, baking sheet. Okay. Almost there. Now, if you have another baking um, muffin tin and you have extra batter, you might wanna pull that out. But if you only have one muffin tin, and you have extra batter, these bake up pretty quickly. So you can put your first batch in the oven and then take those out and use the muffin tin again for the rest of the batter. So mini muffins bake pretty quickly. So the mini ones are gonna go in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. And then the larger muffins go in for like 10, 12 to 15 minutes. How do you test if a muffin is ready, Camila? Do you know? Yeah, you could either use the toothpick method and stick it in the middle. And if it's, if nothing comes up, then it should be ready. And if it's still gooey when it comes out, then it needs a bit more time. Ooh, I like that. So I'll show you guys exactly what Camila means in a second. So that's a good way to know if your muffins are ready. Because also everyone's oven is different. Some ovens get really hotter. Some ovens don't get as hot. So I have my muffin tin ready to go in the oven. And since I said these are mini muffins, little, little muffins, uh, they're going to go for eight to 10 minutes. OK? I'm going to set my timer for. 10 minutes, but I could not resist. And I made some already to show you guys. So I made these earlier and took me about, like I said, eight to 10 minutes and see how with the silicone, well, first of all, backtrack, 
How do we tell if they're ready? You can take a sharp knife or a toothpick. I have a sharp knife here, right here. And you'll see, I'm just gonna go into the center of one of my muffins. And if it comes out clean, so no batter is on it, that means they are ready. So you can use a wooden toothpick or a skewer and just go right into the center of the muffin. And if it comes out without batter on it, you're good to go. If it does come out with batter, I'd recommend just popping it back into the oven for another two to three minutes and trying again and just, you know, seeing as you go. Now, like I said, we have our silicone muffin tin and look how easy it is to pop out just like that. And look how tiny these are. So I wish you guys can eat them with me, but since we're making them along with you, yours are gonna be in the oven, but make sure you check on them in eight to 10 minutes if you're doing mini. So look how easy it is to pop out. I recommend these so much, but if you don't have it, muffin liners are fine. Just like this. How's yours looking, Camila? Oh, they're looking good. Do you have any already made? Yep, I'm taking them out right now. Yeah. Ta -da. Okay. Good to go. So how's everyone else doing with their muffins? Let's see. I see a lot of blank screens. Does anyone want to show me their muffin batter or their filled muffin tins? Hmm. Lainey, how did yours come out in the muffin tins? Are they in the oven? Awesome. So I love that Lainey used walnuts and Camila added some cranberries in there. That was a good idea. Does anyone have anything different about their muffins? Did anyone add any cinnamon maybe or something else? Or are we following the recipe and maybe next time we can add something else? Does anyone want to show their batter if they're not in the oven yet? Do, do, do. I see Camila working hard over there. Camila, if you have one ready to go, I say put it on a plate so we can see it or hold it up to the camera. Oh, these smells so good. Mm. Wow. Look how fun Camila's look with a little Santa Claus. Wow. That's a perfect gift, if you ask me. Look at that. All right. Now, I would love to sit and wait for eight to 10 minutes and see how yours come out. But we are about to try ours. And I think you're about to try, try yours in a few minutes, guys. You're going to let them cool off a little bit so you don't burn your mouth. but let me have a little sneak peek. So ready? Take a bite. Mm. Mm hmm These are so simple yet so, so good. I love that they're moist. They're not dry at all. And the chocolate chips add a lot of flavor. And then you get a little crunch from the almonds. How are yours, Camila? They're really good. They're even more sweet because of the cranberries. Mm, I'm going to try that next time. Good idea. All right, guys. I think we should vote. <laughs> so what do you say? Who won? I think we should pull up a poll to see who won. All right. Joelle, can you launch that poll for us?
I'm told now that it's inactive. Um, Len is in there. Okay. Poll, share results, stop sharing. There we go. Oh, I don't think so. Did they vote? Not yet. Is it letting you do it? Yeah, that's weird. Okay. So Lynn is gonna go in and see if the poll's working. Do, do, do. Any questions from anyone? Yes, so I know we had Melody's group. Does anybody want to show us any of their batter? Hi. <laughs> How's it going over there? Are you making your muffins? I haven't seen any muffins, guys. Are they in the oven? Or not quite yet? I have four minutes left. Four All minutes. Right. Okay. How long did you put them in for? Eight minutes or 10 minutes? 10. 10. All right, so they're almost ready. Okay. So do we think all of our guest chefs won? So that's Lainey, that's Melody's group, everyone from Pleasantville, everyone else joining. Do we think Camila won with her cranberries or I don't think I won. I think you guys won, but, or me. All right, it's coming close. I vote for Camila, even though I can't vote. I love the addition of cranberries in there. But then again, oh my gosh, next time I wanna do cranberries and walnuts. Combine Laney's and Camila's. How does that sound? That sounds so good. All right, guys. So it looks like our winners are everyone. So all of our guest chefs won today. So Lainey, Melody, everybody else joining. I know we have a lot of nicknames in here. Chef number one. All right. So congrats, you guys. I think you're all the winners. Um, it was really fun. Okie dokie. So while we wait for those muffins to come out, I think we should talk about maybe taking a photo of them, posting them to Instagram, right? Tagging us at Family Cook NYC and the American Dairy Council at American Dairy NE and using the hashtag FuelUpTVC so we can see your incredible muffins. And then you can also follow me at Family Cook NYC. Now, if you think this is good, Next week is even better. So next Tuesday, December 14th, same time, 415, same place on Zoom, we are making zucchini lasagna roll-ups. Oh my gosh, so good. So cheesy and gooey, you cannot miss that. So thank you again, everyone. Thank you, Camila. Thank you, everyone that joined and cooked. Thank you, Lainey and Melody's group. I had so much fun. I hope you guys had some fun too. And I hope you guys enjoy your muffins. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Oh, look at those muffins. Yay. <laughs> Looking good, Lainey.